Activities that promote social well-being don't need to be particularly sophisticated or expensive, nor do they need to have social well-being as their main objective. Community gardening is rapidly growing in popularity as a low-cost and environmentally benign activity that synergizes really well with multiple objectives, such as providing active leisure, low-cost and non-stigmatized mental health support, but also raising awareness of opportunities for local production and consumption of healthy food. It definitely helps your well-being to be, well, working in, in nature, working in green space, green space beneficial to you. Coming here lets me have a purpose and it lets me have a focus and a goal and I can witness how other people um, handle similar kind of problems to myself. Learning to contribute as well and realising that I can contribute. There are no one health benefits to people in terms of just being outdoors, working with other people um, and, and seeing something go from nothing to something they say, I did that. And when you can actually grow food as well, people no longer do that. And when they taste something they've grown themselves, it has a huge impact on people. It just does. It makes them feel great about themselves and what they achieve. I think the, the external location helps me to move away from my internal dialogue. If I can focus and see a wonderful, beautiful setting, it gives me something else for my mind to focus on. It's therapeutic to me. And one of the, the great things about doing this is that I can actually feel myself healing inside. And um, I never really expected that. I, I expected that I needed to do something far more arduous, like you know, pumping iron or weights in, in the gym. It's definitely creative for me because I'm, I'm having to challenge myself all the time. Everybody has a skill. They're, they're coming here, they're not in deficit mode, which they might have been told they are elsewhere in society. And they come here and find they've got skills that are valued and they see their results. I enjoy uh, getting in, involved uh, in working with other people in things that are socially beneficial, socially useful and, and that are going to bring social benefit to, to people and to the community. We spend too much time as a society chasing monetary and, and uh, material goals and we ought to more, maybe be more thinking in terms of people's individual well-being and collective well-being. It brings together very disparate groups um, and to see people that would never normally meet under any other circumstances find something in common and learn from each other and share stuff is good and across ages as well and culturally you know, gardening is a global thing, growing things, it's global. When we sit around and have a community meal, whether it's in here or over in the allotments, it gives us the opportunity to speak and chat to people and they come from all kinds of backgrounds. Just a community meal in and of itself, people enjoy. Later on in the summer when we just go, go and pick our own kale and I'll make cocannon and we use the herbs we've made, um, remedies that keep away colds and flus and people have been amazed that even things they thought of as weeds have a health benefit. When I get involved in social interaction it usually ends up having to go to the pub. I hate drinking and smoking and things like that and um, so I like this kind of um, setting just to, to get to know people. There's just something for everybody but mostly just being outdoors. Hear the birds sing, you know. Um, everyone talks about mindfulness. When you're outdoors doing something like that, all you can do is be mindful. You come away very, very relaxed and you don't know why and then you think, oh yeah, it's that gardening, being outdoors. So, if community gardening is therapeutic for a wide variety of people, if it's good for sociability and if it produces healthy food, while also enhancing the quality of the urban environment, it seems like a really promising and affordable source of social well-being.